I love traveling. And if you're watching this video, it's very likely that you love traveling also. Once you've done it enough, you realize that it's not just about the beautiful places, but it's really about the people you meet along the way and the people you go with and the lessons you learn from them. See, maybe the best practical education on life that you can get is by traveling. For example, one of the most beautiful places in the world is Turkey. But also, it is a country saturated with history and with amazing people. One of the places that called my attention was a small town called Kayakoi. Therein is a ghost village that was abandoned in the early 1990s. Turks and Greeks lived side by side, yet they are victims of many historical and natural events. And finally, the Christian Turkish citizens and the Muslim Greeks were finally expelled from their homes when a population exchange was signed to ensure that each country had only one main religion. Imagine if you lived during that time. Imagine your friends turning on you. Imagine having to abandon your home and security. Having to abandon your dreams and everything you knew. It just doesn't sound fair, does it? And yet the question remains today. Is, is life fair? fair? This might be a bit disappointing to you, but the truth is that life is not fair. Because sometimes people are hurt and abused. Sometimes bad people don't get what they deserve. Sometimes people don't get equal opportunities. And sometimes people get cancer. So if life isn't fair, then... Then what's the point? The idea that life would be hard is not something new. Through history, philosophers, people of influence, and even Jesus taught that life is difficult. There's no guarantee that life would be the way we want it to be and that's actually kind of scary. The truth is, is that we live in a broken world and our bad decisions affect all of us even when we don't want to admit it. One thing I'm sure about however is that every tragedy can become a blessing. Maybe it's not about focusing on whether our life is fair or not. Maybe what is wrong is our twisted mentality on what we think is fair. See, we're selfish and often want to become winners without caring who loses. Life is designed so that we can all win and help each other win and that we can know that those difficult moments bring us closer to God because, because we just can't do it by ourselves.